Vision. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's a freestyle fighter standing six feet one inch tall. Official weight, 259 and one corner pounds. As a professional, this veteran brings 14 victories, 14 defeats, and one bout even into the cage tonight. Joining us from Santa Ana, California, here is Jimmy Titan Omri. And next, his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist, standing six feet even. Official weight, 260 and three quarter pounds. His professional record also stands even with two victories and two defeats. Fighting out of Fresno, California, here is Mike Gentry. <laughs> Referee in charge, Herb Dean. All right, gentlemen, we've been over the instructions. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're going to keep it clean. Touch them up, make it official. All right, it's time for the big boys. Tachi Palace fights number seven, Deck the Halls. This should be a good one. This guy's had a little interesting pre-fight exchange. I don't know what exactly that was about, a little trash talk or something. Round one action underway. Nick Mike was telling uh, Jimmy he had nice hair. <laughs> There's a nice quaff there. These guys are banging from the get-go. As we said, Ambry's moving forward. Gidry firing bombs in there as well. Yeah, Gary, he does his style as combat yoga, but I've never seen punches in yoga before. <laughs> I was uh, thrown by the term combat yoga. Ambrose has control of that one leg, trying to reach back and scoop Gidry down. Does successfully. Now, Ambrose on top. He is a big boy. He brings a lot of weight. Nice elbow spot. This fight has already gone longer than Ambrose, uh, excuse me, Gidry's first two fights combined. <laughs> Amazing. There we go. Good, yeah, working for the arm bar. Nice for a heavyweight to see the open guard work, trying to slide those legs up a lot of times the, the heavyweights aren't quite flexible enough to pull that off i guess that's what the combat yoga brings to the table that flexibility well i don't think he'd be able to triangle jimmy because he has no neck so the arm bar's probably his only choice from that position <laughs> not now, much neck there to, to attack is there you can get an arm bar with the hair if you work that in there on amber it's nice to see though even though he's a bigger guy he's moving around he's trying to work the pass he's not sitting there you know trying to stall out and I think you might have a classic example here where two guys know that each guy brings a big, heavy hand, and they might have said, hey, you know what, I'm going to try a little something different. I'm going to surprise this guy and take him to the ground and see what he has to offer. If given opportunity. Embry's back, back to way, but, you know, immediately trying to push in. Let's see. But he's making a decision. That's a little bit of an active rest there for Embry. We saw him take a, a deep breath. Two minutes in. Nice little kick to the outside of the leg. Here's where the gas tanks come into question, though. It was a high pace to start with. Three-minute mark here in the first round. I don't think we're going to see too much more ground and pound. That takes a lot of energy out of you. These guys are well, to stand up and throw some blows now. Especially because you're bigger, you got to move around more. You know, your body uses more energy. Lighter guys, that's why they move around so much. Absolutely. Nice left-hand counter from Ambrose, but he is definitely sucking wind right now. See him circling on the outside, probably trying to look for those home run punches versus any kind of big-time combinations. And I think if you're getting keep the pressure on. Keep the pressure on. Ambrose has landed a couple of good kicks, but when he throws those kicks, he, he drops his, his, his left hand. I just I think that's an opportunity for Gidry to capitalize. You know, Gidry might be trying to, you know, obviously he's aware of Jimmy Embrys and his, his cardio issues in the past. So, you know, maybe he's trying to just let Embrys tire himself out and then really open up later. But, you know, I, I think Embrys is tired already. I'd like to see Mike Gidry really push the pace. Well, he took the final three, which is notice. He had to get 30 pounds to 265 limit. So that's definitely going to happen. Thank you. They're just saying if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. I think more guys need to kind of take that into account. You are a fighter, so don't just let yourself go because you're not fighting. Yeah, well, that's the difference between a martial arts and a fighter. A fighter just trains six weeks for a fight. Martial arts are always in the gym. You know? Sometimes, uh, you know, I think Jimmy might be a fighter instead of a martial artist. I could be wrong, though. So I get reworked the straight, working the leg kicks, maybe trying to 
soften those legs up a little bit. Gas tank's running empty if the wheels are shot too. Makes it tough to win a fight. Get you through a kick there, but it's kind of like a slapper foot kick. You know, sometimes you got to be careful. Those can hurt your foot more than they can hurt your opponent. Yeah, you really can. They, they sound really cool because they're slapping, but they're, they're not as good as when you bring that shin across the, uh, the meat of the leg there. That's right. Ambry's with a couple of little kicks He's there. throwing a kick. That's for sure. Less than a minute remains. Interesting round. I mean, it, scoring this, obviously we've got about 40 seconds left. I, I think either guy could really kind of claim this with a nice flurry at the end. I, I don't know if either has what it takes to, to throw off a rapid-fire combination. Um, but it's it's interesting because Ambry's was on top. He was pressing early. Of course, he just hasn't done much for about the last three and a half minutes. Oh, that kick was questionable right there. Yeah, it did catch him. And uh, Herb Dean not uh, give him a second to regroup. Well, you got five minutes. If I was Jimmy, I'd take at least four. Absolutely. You, you, you're absolutely right. And, uh, you know, Dean had a good angle at it. It was close. Uh, as you know, uh, sometimes it's not necessarily the direct shots that hurt as much as those glancing blows. But you're right. I mean, if a guy that's tired, he gets five minutes. And I think a lot of times fighters are, are a little too – cautious you know they, they, they want to get back in there right away you know they hear the crowd kind of booing they want to put on a good show but uh, we, we've seen Ambry sucking wind you know ham it up a little bit say oh, oh no it's, it's really hurting it's killing me and I, I really need to rest at this point he's uh, a big guy I mean if you can get a breather you can I, I would take it and his round's almost over and he gets another minute with the minute breaks are on as well you know and if there's a guy out in the audience booing I think someone should go over and maybe kick him in that spot and see how he reacts <laughs> Take all the time you need. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and you can hear the crowd. The crowd, you're hearing some, some shouts from the crowd come in already. Hey, you're letting him rest. You're letting him rest. And it's true. I think uh, Ambry's, you know, needs to take a couple acting classes. If you're going to need some more time, I think you got to, you know. Take a knee, maybe. Take a knee, of. yeah, just lean against the cage. All right, action's back. Ambry showing a little bit more step. I mean, if he could take a, a two-minute break between each round, I think he'll be a better fight. Yeah, I think that little rest helped him a little bit. Got that kick check. Gidry still the more active fighter. All right, you have it. End of round one. A little up and down round. We had some controversy with a uh, illegal kick there. What do, you, what do you guys take on this round? I mean, I, it's, it's really hard to judge that round as far as the pick a winner. I think... Uh, I got to lean towards Ambry. I think he landed more kicks. I think he came out more aggressive. And all that blow didn't cost him any points. Gidry didn't do a whole lot, in my opinion. It's interesting because I can definitely see that case. I kind of lean towards Gidry a little bit because I felt like he was really the, the one doing anything for the last three and a half minutes. Uh, but I can see it going either way. Um, I see it with Gidry also. Um, I think uh, Ambry won the first part of the round. But it's always better when the second part, because that's what we're wrapping the balls. Now, here's something you don't see every day. That might have been the problem right there. Jimmy Embry's had his uh, tongue ring in. That was that was his issue right there. He had to take that out in yeah. between rounds. Okay. Maybe you do that in the dressing room. I'm just saying. Somebody probably should have thought about that. I don't know that I'd want to be fighting with a tongue ring in. The tongue piercing. That might have hindered your breathing, possibly. <laughs> really good. Not to mention, uh, you know, it could cause some injury depending on how a shot comes in. But be interesting. Again, Ambrose was the aggressor early. He did get top position. But, uh, man, I, I really thought Gidry was the one doing most of the action for the final three, three and a half minutes. We'll see again. Uh, 14 wins for Jimmy Ambrose. Only three have come outside of round one. Round two action underway. Yeah, Jimmy's uh, he's like my friend Tim. He feels like him. And when he gets tired, he kind of stalls a little bit, you know. And I think Jimmy's gonna, gonna be strong in the first minute and then kind of like fade towards the end. So your friend Tim has a uh, pompadour hairdo and he gets uh, gets tired really easy. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, he's like, I bench 300 pounds. I go, that's cute. I'll chunk you, I'll chunk you out. <laughs> and recircling on the outside, looking for those big shots. Not really doing a whole lot to set him up though. Gidry's trying to work the jab, trying to work behind it. But it's got to be something else he's going to have to figure out he needs to do. If you're just going to wait for the guy to get tired, I think that can kind of backfire. You can find yourself getting behind. And judges, you never know how they're judging the fight. They might look at who's, who's being aggressive. Well, you know, he's fighting Jimmy. Jimmy's a southpaw. He keeps on dropping that lead hand. You know, if I was a good guy, I'd slip in a couple of the hook over the top, you know. 
and uh, that showed him do the trick, but not really, he hasn't really thrown that many hooks. Yeah, if you're Gidry, I think you got to throw combinations. He's working that jab, but, you know, go ahead and finish with the leg kick afterwards. Uh, you know, throw the right hand behind it. Do something. Mix it up a little bit other than just the lead jab. Well, his jab is, is textbook. He's got a good jab. Uh, you look at uh, Ambry's jab, it's more of a lunge. You know, he kind of sticks it and leans in with it. He yeah, throws good kicks to the legs. I just wish he would throw more than just one jab, though. You know, mm -hmm. jab, jab, too, you know, mix it up. Yeah, obviously he's concerned with the big heavy counters from Ambrose, but you've still, you've got to open up a little bit. I mean, you've, you've got to try to win the fight. There is a big left. Oh, there comes the counters. Nice knee. And that's what gets a big guy riled up. Ambrose takes a punch, and all of a sudden throws more punches than he's throwing on the top. And he got cut off that knee, though. Yeah, big cut on Mike Gidry's face. Luckily, it's on the bridge of the nose, not the thing that will end the fight. Looks like... Ambry's got a little blood, too. I don't know if that's uh, the, the one on the arm is definitely from Gidry. I don't know about his nose, though, where that came from. That might be Gidry's blood. I'll take a closer look at that. Ambry's had a nice little flurry there for a second. Halfway through the second round. That is a nasty cut. He's like, he smells blood, man. He's moving forward now. Ambry's keeping the pressure on. Gidry pushes him off. Yeah, Gidry's face is a mess. You see the blood running down his chest. Really ugly looking, but again, no reason to stop this at this point. It's not going into his eyes. It's just running down the bridge of his nose. But nice. Ambry's sensing the, the, the blood. <laughs> Smelling the finish, maybe. Nice right hand. Oh, nice left. Oh, Gidry covering up against the cage, moves away, tries to knee from the clinch, really nothing there at all. The only problem with this, though, is Jimmy sends the blood, but if he doesn't finish him out, he might get himself out into the third round. You're right. What will he have left in the third round? Now, you're starting to see Gidry turning his back and walking away. Oh, He's hurt. hurt him. He's covering up. I think Dean's going to want to stop this pretty quick. A couple of shots from the top for Ambrose to stay busy from the top, and I think Dean will step in here at any minute. Mike Gidry really wasn't showing any type of defense. Actually turned his back and walked away. Ambrey's actually looked over at Herb Dean and uh, gave him a kind of a, hey, you want to stop this, please? As we can see, blood has flown out of the ring into our area. Not a bad idea, like you said, Ulysses, that maybe slow down just for a second here for Jimmy Ambrey's A minute left in this round. He's certainly winning this round. Uh, if, he wants to have, if, he, if he doesn't think he can get the finish right away, keep a little bit for the third, right? Exactly. And the problem with, uh, with Gidry, he's going his back, so the blood doesn't go in his eyes now because he's going backwards. Nothing gets a big man more riled up when they see blood. Bloody steak, bloody eye, it doesn't matter. Ambrose passes out into side control. Show, th throwing little short shots there, but shots that will add up. Not much time left in this round. And, and Gidry really hasn't offered anything for much, uh, you know, for the last minute or so. And Herb Dean is saying, look, you got to fight back. you got to do something. you got to do something. Fight. And Herb Dean stops the fight. He gave him a warning. At that point, uh, he was just taking blows. Blood everywhere. Fight stopped. Referee Herb Dean has seen enough and has stopped the fight. i got blood on my paperwork. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. but we got blood down here on, on the computers, on the paperwork, everywhere. I was supposed to sit right there, too. Good thing I didn't. Well, you should be used to blood. I'm not. Right here. Right here. That's that's the danger of doing this job right here. Blood all over the place. Well, at least it's not our <laughs> blood. That's the good thing. It's on the judges' scorecards over here. Everything. <laughs> I appreciate that. Here we see the face. Ambrose, I'm proud of Ambrose here. He dug deep. You know, we talked about Mike Gidry is the kind of fighter that Jimmy Ambrose can and should be. And he did it tonight after, you know, a really tight first round. It looked like Ambrose was gassed. It looked like he had nothing left. He kind of dug deep. And it seemed like once he saw that blood on Mike Gidry's face, as we said, it ignited something in him. And, and he went for the finish. You know, the final blows weren't that much. At the very end we saw, you know, as we're watching some of the damage here in the replay, that the very end, there wasn't much to it. There was just a, a couple of shots to the body or what have you. But this was no movement. He wasn't yeah, doing anything. He had done nothing. Mike Gidry did nothing. He had, we saw the, the, the tentative behavior as he turned his back and walked away. And then once he got dropped, uh, he just never did anything to fight back. And we can see he's still slumped on the, on the cage over there.